my name is Margaret England, your mayor of St. Augustine Beach. Our Veterans Day celebration is a little different this year. In order to respect the need for social distancing, avoiding large crowds, and to protect our residents. Thus, we have created this video so that we can still celebrate and honor our veterans together. I'm sure many of you know the history of this federal holiday, which always occurs on November 11th. It dates back to the ceasefire of World War I, which occurred on the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month in 1918. In November 1919, President Woodrow Wilson declared November 11th Armistice Day. Later, the name was changed to Veterans Day. The original Armistice Day was dedicated to the cause of world peace and to honor veterans of World War I. The current celebration honors all American veterans in war and peace. We honor their patriotism, love of country, willingness to serve, and sacrifice for the common good. Today I would like to make a special mention of our women veterans, because today as we are filming, a special woman is being honored in our nation's capital. Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg, who has recently died, committed her early legal career to the cause of sex and gender equality. Her legacy includes equality for all men and women, and she paved the way for equal treatment for women today and for future generations. Women have served their country unofficially dating back to the Revolutionary War. In 1948, President Harry Truman signed the groundbreaking Women's Armed Services Integration Act that allowed women to serve as regular members of the armed services. In the early 60s, less than one half of 1% of the armed services were women. Today, women account for more than 16%. In fact, women even have their own special Women's Veterans Day first celebrated June 12, 2018. But today we honor all veterans who served in war and peace for their service and sacrifice to our country. Each year the Veterans Administration holds a poster contest for Veterans Day. The winning poster this year is especially poignant for 2020 and I would like to share it with you. The designer, Casey Brown, is a Marine Corps veteran who served in the infantry and was deployed in Iraq. He has volunteered at the Salt Lake City VA Medical Center. This is from an article written by Melissa Heinz who described the poster. This poster features silhouettes of veterans helping each other climb a mountain with supporters of the community cheering them on. The black color of the silhouettes represent the stoic and enduring nature of veteran service. The contrast between the bright background and the dark images represent the sharp contrast that most veterans experience between military life and civilian life. The sharp contrast fits this year's 2020 theme, Veterans in Focus, and this definitely has been a challenging year for 2020. The beautiful sky represents the serenity that veterans seek in pining for peace and drowning out the echoes of war. Overall, the cliff, veterans, and children represent the legacy of veterans. The children represent future veterans. Those struggling on the hill represent incoming and current veterans. Those at the top of the hill represent the older generation looking after others. You will notice that some veterans on the hill are turning back to assist others. This represents the mindset of always looking back to help other generations, leaving a legacy better than they found it. The mountain represents experience. The climbers appear to climb for the better view atop the mountain. The artist, Casey Brown, described his intent for this poster in these words, and I quote, I wanted to express the beauty and rigidness 
of the camaraderie and military service. I would like others to see the life cycle of a veteran. When we are young, we see others serving and hope for living up to the legacy made by the veterans in our lives. That desire to serve grows. We opt to give our time and talents to the service of our country. It can be a struggle and sacrifice at times. We help others along the way. We ask for help from time to time. We turn back around and help those next in line. Then at the end, we get to look back and ask ourselves if we left this country better than we found it, if we chose others' lives over our own. And that's a quote from the artist. Humbly, I could not express the commitment of our veterans and honor them more than by the words of this Marine Corps veteran who created this astonishing poster. Finally, do you know a senior veteran? We may not have their thoughts and stories of World War II much longer. Listen intently, hear their story. To all who are viewing and sharing this Veterans Day celebration, God bless. Stay well and God bless our veterans. And now we will watch our honor guard raise the American flag while the bagpipes commemorate this solemn occasion.
St. John's County Sheriff's Office, St. Augustine Fire Rescue Honors Guard. You are dismissed. Thank you. On behalf of the men and women of the St. Alexander Beach Police Department, happy Veterans Day. Currently in St. John's County, there's approximately 20,000 veterans that are currently living here. And then in America, there's over 20 million uh, veterans. So again, thank you for your service in this great country. On behalf of the St. Alexander Beach Police Department, again, happy Veterans Day.